Hey, yo, her son, Star Terrain made you. Star literally gave you a voice that you never allegedly had. Oh, my fault. You, you used to do allegedly security with the Zulu Nation for Brother Polite and events like that on Sonetta's debate cards. But you keep denying it even though there's actual videos of it. Now, Hassan, when you're watching this video, I'm not about to make fun of you being a victim with Africa Bambada. We talk like men behind the scenes. But I still told you behind the scenes, I stand on what I feel and what I say. Besides the jokes and all that, you've never really rebuttaled to that. And we can have that discussion at a later time. I try to make you, let's do it online in front of the world. It ain't clout chasing. You got all your stands and supporters who have yet to rebuttal what I said out there in the air. I'm not going to say it now because you're the type of dude, I'll say it at a later date. I, most people know why I took the Hassan videos down. It had nothing to do with street pressure or nothing like that. I mean, this dude literally would stop certain dudes from eating allegedly. We're going to leave it at that. You know what I mean? So I feel like I was the one leading the charge. Me, Wax Dog, Mr. Skinny, the original ones I'm talking about, who was relentless. Well, you got dudes moving with the YouTube team and we'll leave it at that. They talk all this Illuminati, this and that, but you use the same so-called gatekeepers to suppress other people who might be competition. I want to use another word, but the YouTube guidelines forbid it. Now, let's get the start to rain. Hassan Campbell, you know I got enough information, educational purpose, meaning... I know the history with the Bambada situation as far as what you put out there and what Ronald Savage put out there. Shout out to Ronald Savage. I got to hit him up. He gave me some exclusive. I don't want to talk about this right now. You know what I mean? And it's not about you, too, because you so insecure. You probably think I'm talking about the exclusive. It's going to be about you. Nah, bro. Like you, People see now which, what I've been trying to reveal about you for years now. And people see it now. That's why I don't really need to make videos attacking anybody. So I, I, I agree with you right there. You a victim, right? Now, Star Terrain was the only reason I've never really went full throttle with a lot of information I had, with a lot of things I had. Star Terrain is the OG. Now, I don't want to call him the OG because he's better than that. He's not sending youngsters out here on a crash test dummy missions and, and doing themselves up, educational purpose. Star Terrain is keeping compactful and, and, and guiding people, giving advice that actually makes you money, that acts like, 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 I'm, I'm proof that if you follow his formula, you follow his style, and not, not trying to overdo it, you just be yourself, people will come. That's what I learned from Star Terrain. Star Terrain was a light in your so-called darkness, and I'm not saying so-called as if you're not a victim, but a lot of the things you say is transgressions amongst actual victims. Not saying you're not a victim, but my nigga, there's certain, certain proper decorum you gotta have. I'm not saying all victims are a monolith, but bruh, you do, do kind of make it hard for folks to look at you as a victim. Look at some of your content, my nigga. Just like I look at some of mine, if people come at me a certain way, it comes with the territory. You got to hold and stand firm on it. Not going behind the scenes, running to YouTube, shutting people up. If you say you this man that's of strength, whatever, debate them then. And if you don't want to debate them, ignore it. Just like you tell others to. But it's contradictions after contradictions. You called Star Terrain a, 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 I don't want to keep saying that word because of YouTube monetization. Y'all got to bear with me. I, I'm, I'm trying to grow and change as well. And I think it is true. We don't have to use a lot of, you know what I'm saying, cuss words all the time if we can use our wits. Now, with you, bro, you saying Star Terrain is B word and he's all this and that. You show people your level of loyalty is basically zero. You will... Basically take a dump on anybody out here, my nigga, that's went out their way to help you. That's big facts. Yo, even people like me, you don't even tell people how me and you fell out. You don't even speak to the people about that. You make it look like some nigga that don't even know you and I'm just making a video. But you know what it was about. Them receipts people put out on you years ago back in 2016. Yeah or nay, bruh. Yeah or nay. Yeah, yeah, it goes that deep all the way to some 2015-ish. But let's stick to this. I'm doing this video because to see the level of disrespect and distasteful things you had to say about Star, it ain't me playing hero and all that. It's me letting you know a natural light that don't exist in you. Your level of darkness comes out on every single video to the point it's now transparent where everybody can see now. 
You see through my nigga, in other words, of what I'm saying. You're very visible now to the public. I don't have to continue. You got guys like Wax Dog, Uncle Skinny, who's been relentless. Yeah, they do jokes, but they still release the what? The information. I feel like maybe they shouldn't tease you. Maybe. But I fall away from that because all you got to do is engage in the conversation what they're saying and talk about those things, but you don't. You're saying Kevin G um, Gills forgave you. Something like that to that extent. I don't care about what two brothers who are attacking each other, educational purpose, making peace now. I think it's a wonderful thing. Salute to y'all. I feel like everybody should exhibit that. A level of communication where we can make peace. But you're a hypocrite. You're only using the Kevin Gill's analogy to save you from the things that you've told people and you've said. But guess what, Hassan? It can't just be the Kevin Gill situation. you said other things that's uncomfortable. That has nothing pertaining to do with Kev Gill's nor his uh, kids as well. Blessings to that man and his children. But you, brother, you going on on another whole flock, bro. It's it's kind of brazy. You still talking about Kwame Illuminati? Fall back. People have the right to look at you as Cohen Tell because once again, Star Terrain gave you light. You wouldn't even be eating on YouTube if it wasn't for Star Terrain, bro. Let's just get that out the way. You wouldn't be eating on YouTube right now. That's super facts. You're only eating because the Folks in them like entertainment. You're somewhat of a walking, typical stereotype at this point, bruh. You seen me making no jokes, not one joke yet. Tell the people that I'm doing this and that to you. They won't find it. All the recent videos I've done on subjects pertaining to you and others is following the YouTube guidelines, and I'm sticking to the actual things that made me so-called, quote-unquote, lit. That's what you talk about behind the scenes, right? But we ain't going to go deep into that. We're just going to say, look at yourself. You still doing it live right now while I'm making this video. I heard you uttered out. We lit right now. But your views always been lit. I told you, you're a stereotype. Something that the people fell in love with and it had nothing to do with you being a victim. Am I wrong or right? That's the first thing what we thought. But then it grew to something else and you ran with it. Kudos to another black man making money, but you taking everybody down with you. You talking about Kwame got to be the Illuminati because he's every video. He's attacking people and uh, YouTube guidelines. We're following the rules. I'm explaining something because we know the people that follow you who say they're black this and black that. They take black content creators down. We don't even have to get into that. We know what Kassan Campbell supporters do. They don't listen to the full spectrums of both sides. They just deride the whole tip. And then you got to question educational purpose. Do you spit or do you swallow to them? Because you don't know what type of rebuttals to give somebody that engage in conflicts and just full throttle attacks without having a conversation or a proper dialogue. That's big facts. No cap. Go look at his followers. They dance around the receipts I used to put out. Blessings to self-talk and everybody else. A lot of those receipts are mine. I don't get mad. I put it out into the sectors and I, there's a YouTube license thing you can do. The standard license or the common, I think it's common usage or I, I, creative commons out there. I ain't using it in a minute now. I think I'm, I need to do that again. That's to let other content creators know this is information that should be educational, purposely shared. Because it's public figures and it's on YouTube already as well. And it's from his interviews, his words. And it's not subjected at all. It's not edited. And if it is edited or anything, it's still information that's cut up because of him copywriting or et cetera, et cetera. Dudes would love to show the full videos, but I'm not on an attack of Hassan Campbell. Salute to that man. But to sit back and see you disrespect start to ring up and down like that, and you say Kwame is Illuminati, educational purpose, I don't even think you believe in that and what you say because every video shows you attacking people, wrong or right. I concur with you on the My Son situation and things like that. It's a lot of dudes on YouTube who come out here to be the so-called black leader and black messiah. And they do nothing but take from the community and bring us down. And they don't be believe in anything that they preach. I agree with you upon My Son and them all. But guess what? You're the same like My Son. You called yourself the leader. You called yourself X, Y, and Z. You called yourself the celebrity. You, sir. Wouldn't that equate you to my son and everybody else you talk about and the allegations you say upon Kwame Brown? Wouldn't that make you the very... <laughs> I mean, like, if, if take a look in the mirror was a real life person, my nigga, it would be you, bruh. Like, literally, if take a look 
in the mirror was alive and well. It'll be on YouTube and known as Mr. Hassan Campbell, bro. Like, this is wild, my nigga. To disrespect the man that made you. I've never went in on you. Pause. Just because of Star Terrain. I got nothing but respect for that, man. I thought if I went full throttle with it, it would be disrespecting a man that was doing real journalism with the work of Ronald Savage, a.k.a. B. Stinger, and you. And he helped both of you, brothers. I'm going to just be honest. He helped both of y'all, bro. Like, the world didn't know about you guys at all. I've only seen Hassan once. And I was doing security. This is before the Africa Bambada thing. Shout out to Saad. Well, I don't want to say names on here, but, you know, one of the elders released the footage of it to verify that I wasn't tripping or lying. And I, I felt vindicated because people who follow Hassan, they think you just want to be a troll. So I agree with you, Hassan. That's why I made not peace, but I agree like a man. We, I need to stop the back and forth with you. And you need to stop that too because every celebrity you talk to, oh, that's just a clown YouTuber. Don't you think me and them so-called celebrities, you dissing me too? We have conversations beyond the scenes. I mean, yeah, I came a long way, right? <laughs> I'm not the nigga that people can ignore anymore. But at the same time, I agree with Hassan. I got to stop the little jokes here and there. The only reason I went that route, it seems the only way you can get through people is doing the little jokes. Because when you try to be the real journalist that I am, which I am, I am a journalist. And when you do it like that, the community don't like you speaking upon the new so-called prize that's in the room. It, it, it's facts. So there's a reason why I flocked the people like Kwame Brown. He's not the new prize in the room. He's been out here for years, and he's been quiet in a respectful manner. And now the voice of a lion has been awakened. And like they said, man, when in the jungle, do as the lions do. <laughs> when in the jungle, do as the lions do. You know what I mean? And that is a lion, a ferocious one. A ferocious one. And I've, I've seen you battles with many people. I feel like I'm the only one educational purpose who disrupted the wave of you, brother. I disrupted your wave. I ain't seen nobody hit home runs like that when I left out the game. I didn't strike out. I retired, bro. I did a Cal Ripton. You know, I was an Iron Man. Never missed the game. And one day I just said, I got to go. And all my good bros in them picked it up. The Uncle Skinnies, the Wax Dog. You know what I mean? They kept it going. But I'm not going to do the jokes because I'm in the Hall of Fame now. And now... There's that new competitor, and he's hitting home runs out the gate. He didn't even go to the minor leagues. He came straight from high school, and his name is Kwame Brown. Yeah, that competitor is very different. Yeah, like, like that's a lion that knows when to exude his strength and exhibit that. I, I ain't going to do a raw right now, but you get what I mean? No jokes. I'm being all serious. I gave you respect, Hassan, even now in this video. But you're so... I can't even say that word because... People will intake it and take it in a different manner. So let's follow the guidelines and just say you're going to exhibit the same thing you're exhibiting on every one of your videos. I guess I would have to watch them to know what I'm talking about. I'm not going to explain. So by you watching this video, you're going to continue in that which you propagate upon your so-called constituents. You're going to play propaganda tactics, bruh. You're going to make yourself into this false victim narrative that you're not, bruh. All this that you're making content and money off of now is what you created and allegedly strategized to say towards Kwame. You planned this all along. You were ready for this moment. Big facts. Not only were you ready for this moment, I know thoroughly and surely you looked at every aspect of this and you knew. No matter if the dislikes or not, because we're both content creators. I was one before you and you know this. Shout out to you for surpassing all of us in this sector. I ain't hating. But you know... The gains you'll get, whether you get dislikes or not, the R RPMs and CPMs, all that is going up. I'm sorry if some of you guys don't know what I'm talking about, but content creators do. <laughs> yeah, that income is going up regardless because the algorithm picks you up. And it's crazy. You went against everything you so-called profess and preach just to get notoriety because you felt uncomfortable. The pretty girl was in the room and looked better than you. It's an analogy, folks. I ain't calling Kwame that, but it's an analogy. When another girl see another pretty girl walk in a room, it's an instant bitterness. I mean, dudes don't really have that feeling. Even if we feel, oh boy, um, might be our girl's particular taste or he look better or something, like, we don't hate like that. Nigga might look at his girl funny if she's trying to look too much, but we don't hate on the dude. The dude can't help who he is, but you have them characteristic traits right now, my nigga, and you're exhibiting it to the world. 
I'm just letting you get food for thought. You're exhibiting in front of the world, bro. Like, it, it looked wild. It looked very wild. Look, man, y'all hit that like button. Y'all hit that notification bell. And come rock out with, man, I Smoke Hip Hop Live. Salute up in this piece, man. I'm out. This this thing get more scarier every day when you look at it, man. Rest in peace to that man, Pop. They say the black of the berry, the sweet of the juice. You know what I mean? I remember Marvin Gaye, he used to sing to me. He had me feeling like black was the thing to be. I mean, did we forget that? Rest in peace, Pop. A lot of niggas using your name and portraying you in the wrong way right now. And it's brazy out here. Look, I'm your God bless one. Love your family, love your kids, and stay blessed, gang.